What's up? This is Rad, and I'm coming to you from Tactical Airsoft Supply, hanging out with my homie Ajax, and we're going to talk to you about our thermal imaging devices that we have right here from Tory Pines. Here, I'm going to swipe out the camera, and Ajax is going to talk a little bit about it. So we'll cut over to Ajax right here, everybody. There's Ajax. Hey, uh, we just wanted to give you a follow-up review on the uh, Tory Pines Logic uh, T12 Thermal Series. We've got all three models here. We have the uh, the T12 N model, which is the most value model. T12 uh, M here, which is the 30 hertz, 25 degree or 50 degree model, as you can see. And then the T12 V, which we showed in our previous videos. So we got our a homie Chandler standing approximately 150 feet away. We'll give you an indication on, on which optics do what and how well they work. So we're gonna start with the, uh, I'm gonna start with the M model. That's the 30 hertz, 50 degree model. And uh, this uh, gives you a really good fluid motion. As you can see on the screen, the 30 hertz is a nice for that, uh, you know, for that aspect. It, the 50 degree. It, it renders is what you're getting at. It, yeah, renders, it renders quicker. Uh -huh. And from that, you can see, looking down, you can see Chandler way down there, but he's just a little blip. He's a little dot, as you can see. He's in the crosshair now. So, uh, you know, though you can spot targets at 150 feet, which is probably the max you really need in airsoft. You can go a little bit further, but it's not going to be much more. I mean, what are you really shooting at night anyways that's yeah, out that yeah, far? Yeah, it's going to be dark, so you're not going to see much. So you, typically your engagements are going to be under 150 feet. And as you can see, you know, uh, for for that range, it's just a dot. You know, you can't tell if it's a person. You can't tell if it's like a cat or something like that. So that's that at 150 feet. This particular model, I would really suggest for probably like home defense. Like you'd mount this on your shotgun at home. So if someone's snooping around in your house in the dark, you know, you can put this on. You'll see him well before he sees you. And then you can uh, maneuver quickly and still, you know, get that free, uh, that high resolution or whatever the, the high hertz on that so that's the m model or the uh is it m m m, yeah, is, it's in mary. m, m is in mary m is in mike so we're going to look at the 25 degree n model and this is a nine hertz as you can see the difference is well, as i move my hands it's a little slower on the rendering because of the nine hertz whereas the one that we just looked at had 30 hertz on the m or the mike model yeah you'll see it's a little uh it's a little choppier but as you can see 25 degrees Let's see if we can see Chant Alpha down there. Yeah, he's just standing out there. You can see him. Let's see if we can get that camera to focus properly on it. It's hard to see from the camera there. Yeah, there you go. Maybe you can get that. Here, let me do it, do it on the green setting. Go back to green. There he is. He's way out there. He's so, the white. So at 150 feet, the 25 degree, you can tell, you know, much more that there's a person there. So, you know, I mean, for the application of Airsoft, this nine hertz, it's you know the, the, you're not going to get much of a disadvantage for that hertz. It's just really appealing to the eye. Value wise, you know, it's not going to really make much of a difference for airsoft. And uh, as far as you know, the, the range is pretty much perfect. So out of all the models, the N model is what I would recommend exclusively for airsoft. A little bit so difficult to try to zoom yeah. in on that color there, but he's down there. Let's see if I can't switch the mode so you can see that a little bit better. There he is. There's the yeah, black the, against the wall. You see him against the wall there. He stands out pretty clearly. And if my crosshair was dialed in, I should be able to nail him easily with my airsoft gun. So black hot seems to be the best for filming purposes. For filming, yeah. It's not the best for others. But yeah, there you can see he's clearly right there. And right, and right to, the, uh, to the left of him is a big, huge snow pile that's all piled up. So in snow applications or a whiteout situation, you want to probably use black hot to... Those are all the cars, cars. Yeah, so that's pretty sick there. So this I'm is a, this is the one I would pick. Yeah, this is the one that I would recommend after trying all of them in airsoft battles. That's the model that that I've chosen. So we're gonna look over at the V model, and you can get a difference. And, and this one might show you a better picture of uh, Alpha downrange because it's actually magnified a little bit. Let me go to the black hot. So yeah. where is he? There he is. He's waving. See if, it'll take a second. We'll get it to focus. We definitely need better camera equipment. There, there he go. is. There he is. So this is the V model. This has got the longest range out of all of the models. I used this one at uh, Hesperia at the Camp Jubilee War of Angels, and it did great. Only issue with this particular model is, is that if someone was standing 10 feet to his left, you wouldn't see him. So you're constantly having to scan 
which um, can can actually inhibit you quite a bit in airsoft matches that I that I found. So that's why it, I decided to probably pick the the end model as the primary model to to go with. So there he is. There he is. He's walking. Wave your hands, Alpha. There he is. That that looks really good, actually, with yeah. this camera. Now, this this particular model would probably be best for varmint hunting. There's a lot of states that don't allow spotlight hunting. You don't need a spotlight with this. You know, you can use it without a spotlight. Coyotes, so, yeah, you know. Coyotes, uh, varmints, things like that. Um, you know, that, that would probably the best be the best application for this. It should range about 150 meters. As you can see at the resolution, you can tell that's a person. He could probably go out another 100 or more feet and you'd still be able to see that uh, person pretty easily so so that's the v model there's the w model which is a it's a 30 hertz basic version like this with a wider field of view uh i think it's a 12 degree that one is pretty much the same thing that one i would recommend for for uh real still shooting not really for airsoft so yeah again the the, the uh, end model is what we're advising for all of these we've tried them uh, on real guns and they held up fine uh we sold quite a few of these already and if you're interested in picking one up, we have them on our website, uswarkit.com. You can actually email us at, uh, you know, uh, hit us up at uh, sales at Tactical Airsoft Supply or call us. Uh, or we'll post our phone number and we'll be able to hook you up with a deal on these if you're interested to get some. They've proven to be great so far. they got good warranties. Uh, they've been holding up great and they give you a huge advantage for your airsoft game without breaking the bank. If you're going to choose between this and a PVS-14 or, you know, any type of Gen 3, the, the M model or the N model is going to smoke any of those as far as effectiveness, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So so far so good. It's a great product by Tory Pines Logic. I'm Ajax Tactical Airsoft Supply. And, and I, a, uh, Alpha Alpha Penguin down there. And then you got Rad AjaxCustoms.com. AjaxCustoms.com. Grow the sport. Peace.